Good morning, everyone. It is very early in the morning um, on Christmas Eve morning, and I was sitting here and getting ready for all the services and festivities of the day, and I thought that I would get hold of you um, today and come live for a couple minutes um, to get us prepared for the day. Um, here at St. John's, we begin worship at 9 o'clock this morning in Petersburg. And then we have a service at 11 at Emmanuel, and that is our normal Advent services because we are still preparing for baby Jesus to arrive. And then this evening, we have worship at 7.30 for Christmas Eve service over at Emmanuel Lutheran. All are welcome. Please come out. It's going to be a lovely, lovely evening, and we'll even include having um, a children's bell choir for the first time over at Emmanuel um, for all kids. All kids will be involved. It will be a glorious day, so come on out and enjoy the service. Um, so this morning... I was looking at one of our texts, and one of our texts today is John 1, 1 through 18. And I thought how fitting it is, as it is 7 o'clock in the morning, and we are preparing for the day. So here is John 1, 1 through 18. In the beginning was the Word, and the Word was with God, and the Word was God. He was in the beginning with God, and all things came into being through him. And without him, not one thing came into being. What has come into being in him was life, and the light, life was the light of all people. The light shines in the darkness, and the darkness cannot overcome it. There was a man sent from God whose name was John. He came to testify to the light so that all who believe in him through him. He himself was not the light, but he came to testify to the light, the true light, which enlightens everyone, was coming to the world. He was in the world, and the world came into being through him. Yet the world did not know him. But to all who receive him, who believe in his name, he gave power to become children of God who were born not of blood or of will or the flesh of the will of man, but of God. And the word became flesh and lived among us, and we have seen his glory, the glory of the Father's only Son, full of grace and truth. John came to testify to him and cried out, This was he of whom I said, He who comes after me ranks ahead of me, because he was before me. From his fullness, we have all received grace upon grace. The law indeed was given through Moses. Grace and truth came through Jesus Christ. No one has ever seen God. It is God's only son who is close to the father's heart, who has made him known. What a glorious scripture today as the light is arriving. You can see creeping through the stained glass windows at seven o'clock this morning. Um, and as we wait for the light to arrive, Jesus Christ, who is not quite in our manger scene yet, who will arrive later. Um, what a glorious text. And to me as a great reminder today that grace upon grace, we are loved, we are saved, and that we always have that constant companion in God who was there from the beginning. So I wish everyone a Merry Christmas. I hope that your new year is full of health and happiness for you and your entire family. Um, for anyone who is in the area, again, we have service tonight at 7.30 at Emmanuel. All are welcome. Um, it will be a glorious night. I am excited for the day. Um, and Merry Christmas, God bless, and I will see you all, um, whoever is around, for 9 o'clock um, Monday morning devotions. So, all right, God bless.